And Pete's going to set the stage for tonight's 5.30 vendor team meeting, which will be here in this room, and show you uh, some of the plans we have and the tooling we're developing for being able to look at all the vendor products equally. So, Pete. Thanks, Dennis. Hi, everyone. <coughs> so I'm going to be talking about um, <coughs> what, we, what we've been doing in something called the, the FIBO vendors team. That's one of, one of the other teams that um, we're running within FIBO <coughs> that is in parallel to the content team, which is actually developing FIBO itself. This is about, so the aim of this activity is because FIBO is based on um, standards, we want to build a community of, of tools. And um, <coughs> so the objective of this uh, FIBO vendors team is to provide FIBO users and also FIBO developers, people working on FIBO, a choice of tooling <coughs> and also a basis for choosing between them. And then what we want to do for, for vendors um, this is a motivational factor. It provides them a marketplace to tell people, tell the fiber community about their tools and their capabilities. So it's a, a, a marketing option for the vendors as well. And what we're doing is managing it um, through the, the fiber community. So there's the fiber vendor team, which has weekly calls, and it also manages everything through the wiki, which you can see um, on the EDM Council site there. What I'm going to be doing is giving you a flavour of what we've been doing of a wiki so far and encouraging you to be involved with um, the session later today. So what we're doing as, as part of a wiki, we have um, weekly meetings with minutes and everything. We've been building a number of um, online tables of different um, criteria. <coughs> so there's one, there's four different tables um, <coughs> allowing people to categorize information about the different tools. So one we've got is support by our construct. So this is for ontology tools. This allows the, um, uh, the vendors to list which our constructs do they support. <coughs> for example, there's um, several tools which, um, <coughs> for example, CCM allows you to do a lot of what um, FIBO supports um, in terms of OWL. It doesn't quite do them all. So this gives an opportunity to see which um, fact, which aspects of OWL support, uh, are supported by the tool. And also that column there, you can see um, FIBO question mark. <coughs> so this is um, where, from a FIBO point of view, we can say, does FIBO actually use this OWL construct? <coughs> so maybe it doesn't matter to, to people involved in the FIBO community if the tool um, omits support for one OWL construct, which FIBO doesn't actually use. It's largely irrelevant to a FIBO user. It's just academic. So I'm not going to go through all of the criteria. There's a number of different um, rows in, in all of these tables. Um, we, we'll be talking about that more, more later. <coughs> but you can see there's a column for each, um, there will be a column for each tool and then a, a criteria on each row. And the idea is you expand, each vendor will expand the uh, matrix to include a new column. Question? Yeah, sorry about that. Um, <coughs> I can't immediately hear, I'm afraid. <laughs> so the, 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 the point is really, to, as Dennis said, to be a teaser for um, this evening rather than provide a, a detailed um, analysis of these. So I can quickly... Next is um, support for function, uh, by function for FIBO development. So this is aimed more at people involved in the FIBO community um, itself in terms of actually changing FIBO. So there's facets focused on uh, uh, FIBO developers there. And then <coughs> separately from the OWL and the FIBO ontology, um, we've also got the thread within FIBO, FIBO V, the vocabulary, which is based on SCOS. So there's a separate um, page covering um, SCOS constructs. So what can I do with this as a user? As a user, either an end user or someone in um, Involved in FIBO, you can just, uh, the idea is you'll be able to browse the available tools but, and based on your criteria, choose a, a tool that um, meets your needs. And then what can you do as a vendor? So firstly, you should add a new column to the table for your tool to, to ensure people know about your tool and its capabilities. But at the top of each column, there's a version and date so people know how up to date your tool entry is. And then you should keep it updated with new releases so people know about new features you've added to your tool. But generally the guideline is the tool should be 
generally available, at least to, to, to the fiber community. It's pointless putting things in there for a, a new release or a very limited release that people can't actually get their hands on. <coughs> there is a, a link which I've re reproduced here um, for Confluence editing instructions. So we're, in the wiki, we're using a, a, a tool called Confluence from Atlassian, the same people who produce Jira. So that's what we're using for the wiki. And there's um, quite sophisticated um, instructions for adding tables. You can paste in from Excel, and there's a link there to those editing instructions. And then if you want a change to the number of rows, you think there's something missing from a criteria, or maybe a new page missing, then rather than just add it, adding it in for your own tool and no other tools, we, we'd like you to add a comment to the, the, the actual specific page, or better still, raise a, a JIRA issue, which will go through our um, FIBO uh, vendor team process to agree adding a row because that affects all tools. And then generally this is a community um, resource so we're not we're not trying to sort of restrict it to um, <coughs> particular vendors or particular columns so treat it res with respect don't go in and edit the columns of um, other vendors and, and so on. You can come back at 5.30 and ask as many questions as you want. We'll take a lot of time but David and I just made executive decision to make this particular wiki site wide open so we won't have to log in just go there and when Jacobus comes back he can show me how to do that because I don't know how um, so this just to get get us started we want to treat every single vendor the same we want all vendors to participate in the way that this is broad enough that, that certainly should be possible you could be a visualization person you could be a a, a fiber builder, you, uh, you could be what we saw with, with Scott yesterday, a university, and contribute something. This is for everybody. So thank you very much, Pete. Okay.